Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lamplight City, where we are in Jean Dupre's hunting cabin. This is out in the middle of the swamps. We found out about this place in the last episode, and we're going to take a little bit of a look around and see what his take on what happened to Madame Dupre was, because weirdly, he's, um, well, not around his wife. He's disappeared, so something suspicious going on. Let's have a look around his, his place and see if there's anything we can find. Satchels, boxes, and other assorted boring things for hunting. <laughs> yep. Lots of heads on the you really have to wonder about someone who chooses to surround themselves with dead things. Yeah, I've never really understood the whole sort of taxidermied heads thing. One of the guns is missing. John must be out using it currently. Yeah, I think that's what I said at the end of the last episode, wasn't it? One of the guns is missing, so he's probably using it. Uh, anything in this cabinet? Let's see if John has anything interesting in here. Not very much, except a letter. Could be interesting then. Dear Jean, thank you so much for your help. To think that Mother would try and have me withdrawn from my studies is just unbelievable. Don't worry, I won't tell her you made the university change their minds. One attempt to ruin a life is quite enough. Juliet. Ah. Hello. No, no. Who no, the no. hell are you? What are you doing in my cabin? Jean Dupre, I presume? Yes, that's right. Who are you? Miles Fordham, private investigator. I'm looking into the attempted murder of your wife. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. So he knew about Juliet Forgive and the thing. Forgive my rudeness, but thing. you startled me. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Dupre. This is a man whose bark is most definitely worse than his bite. Probably true, but still. All right, well, let's have a look at everything else before we talk to him, then. Let's see if there's any more clues we can gather. Not a very dignified end for our friend Mr. Bear. Very true. I had a nasty run-in with an alligator when I was a child. One less in the world doesn't really bother me, to be <laughs> honest. It's a warthog here. An absolute bore. <laughs> are these even native to New Britannia? I don't think these things are, are they? I don't know where he got these from. Maybe he's been on hunting trips or something? Some high society type in the middle of a hunt. I don't understand why anyone would get a thrill out of murdering innocent creatures. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. It seems Mr. Dupre is a Bolingworth man. Maybe he's not so bad after all. <laughs> uh, can we go this way or is it... No, we can't. All right. All right, let's talk to Jean Dupre then. Can we talk, Mr. Dupre? I suppose so. Yes. All right, let's ask about straight away his wife, Madame Dupre. What can you tell me about Madame Dupre? Oh, my dear wife, the past few days have been just awful for all of us. Yes, I can imagine. How long have you been married? for seven wonderful years. Laura and I are just as much in love now as we were on the day we married. Boy, does he actually expect anyone to believe that nonsense? <laughs> You'll pardon me for being so frank, Mr. Dupre, but why are you out hunting and not at your wife's side? Excuse me? Who are you to lecture me on my marriage? A fellow married man, that's who. Your wife has just suffered a very traumatic ordeal. Shouldn't you be at home caring for her? But we saw the confusion at the house with the police investigating and her being attended to by her doctor. I just needed to get away for a bit. Surely you can understand, Mr. Fordham. There's yeah, something off about this but... guy, Miles. He's definitely hiding something. And for once, I don't think it's from his wife. I, I, I kind of get where he's coming from, but not, not the right course of action. Let's ask about the death, inverted commas. Do you know anything about the circumstances surrounding Madame Dupre's death? Horrible. Simply horrible. Do you have any idea why Mr. Martin might have attempted to kill her? Mr. Martin? <gasps> you mean the boys they arrested? Andrew said it's because Martin and his mother are witches who prey on the well-to-do. You only need to take one look at him to see his trouble. It's a shame they put him away so quickly. I'd have liked to teach him a lesson or two, believe you me. Oh, really? Yeah, right. A lesson on how to cower in the corner, most likely. <laughs> Bill. Let's ask about himself. I suppose it goes without saying that you enjoy hunting, Mr. Dupre? Yes, I do. I consider myself something of an outdoorsman, you see. Right. It's nice to be able to go out and get some fresh air after being sat at the bank all day. What about your home mm. life? Truth be told, I'm not at home as often as I'd like to be. I've been trying to make more time, but something usually comes up. Business is business, after all. Yeah, but what hmm. business are we talking about here exactly? All right, let's ask about the stepchildren. What can you tell me about your stepchildren? Ah, uh, Andrew and Juliet? I see a bright future ahead for both of them. 
What's your relationship with him like? It's fine. Why do you ask? I got the distinct impression from both of them that they hardly ever see you. Well, yes, I suppose that is true. We don't spend much time together. But and why is they're that? They're also busy with school. I don't want to get in their way. Not to mention my job keeps me away from home for considerable periods of time. Excuses, excuses. I get the feeling Mr. Dupre avoids his family on purpose. But why? Yeah, something not adding up here, isn't there? Let's ask about the letter. Do you know anything about Madame Dupre trying to get Juliet taken out of her classes at the university? Ah, yes. Laura didn't approve of her daughter's desire to further her education. So, she sent a letter to the university requesting Juliet's withdrawal. I didn't approve of her trying to meddle in Juliet's affairs. If she wants to study, she should be free to do so. I wrote them a letter myself, without Laura's knowledge, oh. telling them to disregard the previous request for withdrawal. That's very good of you. Yes, well, I dislike seeing people being told what they can and can't do by others. Yet, he seems perfectly willing to employ servants at his home. <laughs> well, I suppose we're all hypocrites in one way or another. I'll be going now. Au revoir, Mr. Vaudin. So I wonder how that went down with the with Madame Dupre as well. So we didn't really get too much out of being here, but we did know we did find the letter, so that's something at least. So we know that that maybe Jean and, and Juliet were united on on what was going on. Perhaps we go and speak to Juliet now and see if she can shed any light on that. Hello again, Miss Montgomery. Mind answering a few more questions? Hello, Mr. Fordham. Not at all. Okay, let's ask about the letter. Did your mother try to get you withdrawn from the university? As a matter of fact, she did. Just another one of the many ways she tried interfering with my life. What happened, exactly? Mother wrote the university requesting that I be withdrawn. I found out about it when the enrollment office contacted me. I couldn't believe it at first. I thought it was some sort of mistake, but then they showed me the letter. I take it you were upset. More than upset, Mr. Fordham. I was furious. Ooh. I was trying to make a real life for myself. One that wasn't about dresses or debutante balls or fending off suitors. I'd been given the chance to make something of myself, and Mother was ready to bring it all crashing down, just because she didn't agree with it. But in the end, you're still here. Yes, Jean stepped in and fixed everything. He didn't have to do it, but it was very good of him. I'm afraid that was the beginning of the end of my relationship with Mother. We never really managed to fix things after that. Interesting. So... No more questions for now. Then if you don't mind, I have work to do. I mean, she said she was furious. That would Porter, be a reason. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Wait, what am I saying? Of course you are. Madame Dupre has been interfering with Juliet's studies and disapproved of her relationship with Martin. Hence, they're falling out. Plus, the information in Juliet's notes about ethericity, putting animals into a death-like trance, seems awfully suspicious. It does. It's enough to establish both means and motive. Mm -hmm. That's plenty to consider her a suspect. I mean, I'm considering everyone a suspect at this point. I mean, that, that does make her potentially more of a suspect, but they're all suspects as far as I'm concerned. Right, uh, still want to question the residents. Investigate the tomb, speak to Jean Dupre, return to Upton and accuse Juliet Montgomery. Uh, I, I don't want to do that yet because there's, I still feel like there's more to uncover here. I, there's not quite enough to, to quite say that it was her for sure i don't think um also he keeps telling us to go back to the crypt and i don't really know what we could have missed here but the fact that that hasn't disappeared from our book would suggest that there is something still here that we haven't found I'm not sure what it would be though this must be what was going to be madame dupre's final resting place i don't see anything inside what were you expecting a note from her attacker no, but I was hoping for some kind of clue, at the very least. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's anything to do with this open crypt here. Whether there's potentially something we haven't seen. I suppose the whole heaven shining down upon the tomb motif is good for the dead people's self-esteem. Okay, there's the angel statue, and we found the hidden compartment I have to admit, it's a fairly ingenious hiding spot. There's also that this nest, nest. is full of eggs. But where's the mother bird? Perhaps she abandoned it. Always assuming the worst, aren't you, Miles? 
Well, okay. Maybe we're going to have to speak to some more people, gather some more intel. Because I, I don't... Even though, you know, I, I, I said, and, you know, Lyle said as well. Black says Harrison. Doesn't look very opulent. So I guess it doesn't belong to anyone important. That, you know, Juliet could be the, the, the one who tried to, you know, take her mum out. It's possible, but... I don't feel like I've quite got enough to say that that is for certain what happened. So I, I don't really want to jump into accusing her of having done that, honestly. Nothing else to ask him right now. He hasn't got much time left. Best not to waste it. So, I mean, it did say as well that we can speak to Jean again. So maybe he does know a bit more than... Oh, Mr. Fordham, you're back. Ah. Okay, got some more info for we us? We haven't got anything else to ask him about right now. Really? But in the casebook, it clearly says to speak to him. Is there something we potentially missed around here? We've also got to speak to the residents, so... Hmm, okay. Okay, I, I still feel like we've missed something. Uh, let's go to the house and see if the brother or anyone can shine any more light on this anything. This quack hasn't gotten anything more for us to learn right now. It would be nice for us to be able to actually speak to Madame Dupree. Over and she's got a vacant, expressionless stare. She seems completely oblivious to her surroundings. If we didn't know she'd been buried alive, I'd say she was just exhibiting the typical symptoms of your average rich person. <laughs> Alright, let's head inside. Anyway, there's, there's, got, there's got to be something. There's got to be something that we haven't seen yet okay uh as amusing as it is to chat with this oddball i think we've exhausted his usefulness at the moment okay so not him maybe the the chef lady hello have you got anything else to say ah she might do amelie yes what is it we mustn't be seen talking Ah, we can ask about Jean Dupre. Anything you can tell me about Jean? I hardly ever see him. Only at dinner. He's scared of Madame, and so he finds any reason to get out of the house and stay away as long as he can. Scared of her? Oh, it's true. You should see him when they're in private. Like a shamed puppy that dirtied the carpet. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's ask about the fear. Do you have any idea why Jean is so afraid of Madame Dupre? If he's seen the same things we have, then yes. What kind of things? No, I spoke out of turn. Forget I said anything. Amelie, listen to me. A potentially innocent man's life is on the line. If I don't find out who attacked Madame Dupre, he's as good as dead. So if there are any facts or details you know that I don't, you need to tell me. I, I can't. You can. You can. Come not on. Not with the police. If Madame Dupre did something wrong, I'm not going to look the other way. Trust me, I'm on your side. Madam beats the servants. Oh. I, I think she even does it for fun. I hear the screams sometimes. I don't know how anyone else in the family doesn't. Oh, they do. Maybe they do and just ignore it. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm if sure. Mr. Dupre knows what she do, it explains why he's so scared of her. Ah, right. Abuse. Did Madame Dupre ever abuse you? No, I was lucky. But some of the others weren't. Like who? I need details, Amelie. The old gardener, Guy Dumas. And one of the maids, Celine. Ah. I saw Madame going after them the most. Don't know what they did to deserve it. But I would see her walk by in a rage, whip in one hand and a book in the other. A book? A book. What book? Oh, I don't know. I can't read, so I don't know what it said on the cover. But it's the same color as the stew spice I always use. Don't know what she stew used spice. it for, but she always had it with her just before a beating. Maybe did she'd she recite now? them some of her terrible poetry. I'm sure that was torture enough. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Jeez. Right. Guy and Celine. Tell me more about Guy and Celine. They were deeply in love with each other. I used to hear them talk about how they wanted to run away together. What happened to them? I, I don't know. One day they were here, and then one day they weren't. Do you think Madame Dupre may have done something to them? I couldn't say for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if she had. Oh. Please, let's not talk about this anymore. Thank you, Amelie. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Now, please, let me get back to work. Ooh, so that's potentially quite a, a useful clue then. So, 
Uh, find out more about Guy and Cindy. So she said something about the stew spice, right? Is that up here anywhere? Looks like the type of spices you'd use in a stew. Most likely paprika or turmeric. Nice variety of reds and oranges. Right, reds and oranges. So we need to find a book that has reds or oranges then. So I'm guessing that's probably going to be upstairs, I would assume. So let's have a look for a red or orange book. So she had that book always with her whenever she beat the servants. Or, well, whipped the servants, we've been told. So it's got to be a red or orange book. Where was the bookcase? I know there was a bookcase in this house somewhere. Uh, not in here. It must be the other room. Yes, here. Okay. Right, there's a red or orange looking book up here. Perhaps that's the one? Well, this should be the book Amelie mentioned. Choice and consequence. Well, well, Ooh. what have we here? A whip. And it has dried blood on it. How ghastly. Secret this house whip. is just full of secrets, isn't it? Wow, a secret whip behind the painting. Okay, so so we need to find out more about Guy and Celine. Then. So perhaps we can talk to Andrew or Juliet about that. They'll potentially be able to tell us. And maybe Jean as well. Maybe they could, can give us a bit of information on what was going on. It's all heating up, isn't it, guys? I knew I was right not to go and accuse Juliet just yet. There's more to uncover, and I can't wait to uncover it. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time.